welcome back. In this video what I'm going to demonstrate is how to create the stitch line. There are a couple of ways that we can do that but I feel that creating a stitch line using the brushes is a much nicer option. It has a much better finish. I'll just show you how the brush symbol looks. There it is. We've got a little pot of brushes. I'm expanding that panel and what you see are the standard brushes available and then this brush at the bottom is the brush that I've created. I'll start off just by showing you the simpler way of doing this. I've already prepared two lines. In line one I'm going to go into my stroke panel. If the view of your stroke panel just looks like that what you'll need to do is show options and here you will see there's an option to have a dashed line. The default will be 12 points dash. I'm going to change that to 2 points and a 1 point gap and if I zoom in you will see that the stitching looks quite square. I'll select that again and put a round cap on that and now it begins to have a little bit more character in it but I still believe that creating your own brush gives you the option to make it look a lot more interesting finish to it. So let's have a look at how we create that. Looking at the brush panel there are a few different kinds of brushes. So at the top we see the calligraphy brushes. Going on from there we'll ignore that basic. We have a look at one which is called an art brush. In fact one, two and three are called art brushes and the last two are called pattern brushes. Pattern brush is what we're going to be creating today. When I create brush strokes I really like to keep it as close as possible to the finished size that the brush will be on the actual drawing. Usually this is within around about two millimeters. I also like to use the line segment tool to do straight lines. It's much easier because I can choose the size of the line as well. So if I click once onto the line segment and once onto my work area here I can make my line the size I want it to be. I'd like this line to be 1.5 millimeters and I'll leave the angle at zero and go OK. What you'll see is that the line comes up with just a stroke and no fill. If there happens to be a fill in that line make absolutely sure that you remove this. Because I've done everything initially where I made that one point I put a round cap on that. The line that I drew with my line segment tool has come up with all of those default options. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it 1.5 and I'm also going to give it a little bit of a curve. So I come to my anchor point tool, click onto the center of that and just curve it up slightly. Back to selection and I'm ready to go ahead. With a new brush I can go about doing this in a few different ways. Easiest way to start a new brush is to come into the drop down menu, go to new brush and here we have an option of the different brushes, so calligraphic, scatter, art, bristle and pattern. So I'm using pattern brush, OK. The brush that I've just created and selected will always come up in what is called the side tile. We have an outer corner, a side tile and an inner corner. I'm going to name it one needle pattern brush. I'm going to leave the scale as fixed and I'm going to change the spacing to 10%. I'm going to also change my corner tile to auto-centered, auto-centered and the last thing that I'm going to change is the colorization method to tints. And here I'm going to go OK and you'll see that it's just put that in there. You remember that I did all my stitching in the same color. So what I can do is click onto one lot of stitching go into select same stroke color and I can change it to my new brush stroke. You'll notice that when I created that brush stroke I selected the colorization option tints. If I hadn't done that, can you see the previews on? It changes the color back to black so there's no option. I'm also going to change the weight of that to 0.75 and zoom out. So the final little thing we can do here is the end of the shoelace. 
and we can do a little bit of a stitching here depending what you want. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I've selected my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a rectangle, come into my brushes, select my brush and I drop the properties of that brush so it's a little bit smaller. Back here I will rotate so I come to my rotate tool and I'm going to just rotate that back to selection and we'll put that stitching over there. End of shoelace again I'm going to do a rectangle. I'll eye drop the properties of the shoelace and here I've gone back to my selection tool. You'll see all the little corner widgets coming up. I'm going to just drag those in and with my direct selection selection tool make it a little shorter. Coming over here now if you want to rotate something from a particular point so if I just rest end of my shoelace there I come to my rotate you see how the fulcrum's in the middle there. If I click once on the edge I move the fulcrum up and then I can change that back to selection. The next video we will go on and do the full sole of the shoe and put the colours in. Thanks for watching.